Welcome to Easy Elim Learning Simplified. My name is Ruth and today we are going to be learning on Form 2 Mathematics and our topic for today is Volume of Common Solids. And our subtopic is Volume of a Sphere. So this forms the last bit of the topic Volume of Solids. So we've already discussed a number of uh, solids in the previous videos. You can check how we did those calculations. So this is going to be the last bit of it. So we also talked about a surface area of a sphere and we, take, we said sphere is a circular solid. So the volume is a bit different from the surface area, but this is one of those direct solids that is easier for you to be able to calculate depending on the situations you're given. Because the only thing that you need to know here is the radius. So the uh, formula for calculating is going to be four over three by r cubed. Check the difference when it comes to the surface area and the difference when it comes to the volume. So it is 4 over 3 by r cubed. So it means if you are given a diameter, you have, remember the diameter is two radiuses. It's the distance uh, between the, the circle, the ends of the circle. So it means you have to divide by 2 in case you are given. Let, let's do a few practice questions so that you can see what I'm meaning. So the first thing you need to do is write the formula because we need to use it. So it is 4 over 3 by r cubed. So keep that always in mind. And I've said you make the comparison with surface area because they are sort of close. Although for, for surface area is different. So sometimes you tend to find some confusion with the two formulas. Find your own way uh, of separating the two so that you don't uh, interchange them. So 4 over 3 by r cubed. So let's work it out. You have been given our first r is 4.8. So it's going to be 4 over 3 times 22 over 7 times 4.8 times 4.8 times 4.8. That is for the first. So the r, you notice most of the time we use 22 over 7. But it doesn't mean that you use 22 over 7. It depends on what you have been given as your R. So your R can be 3.142 as a decimal, or it can be in the cases where you're not being given, you work with the one that is easier for you to work with. So this is going to be 4 times 22 times 4.8 times 4.8 times 4.8, which is going to give us 9,732. 0 0.096. This is going to be divided by 21, which is going to give us 463.433 centimeters cubed. Remember also you can be given our radius as meter, so you get meters cubed and then it can further give you more instructions, it can integrate density and mass in the question. So you get more questions as you move on. So the next is a 4 over 3 times 22 over 7 times 21 times 21 times 21. So this is the same as 4 times 22 times 21 times 21 is going to give us 38,808 times 21 over 21 so that you just cancel these two and you're left with 38,808 centimeters cubed. If you get a bigger number, do not be surprised. If you get a smaller number, do not be surprised, like you feel like your answer is wrong. No, you notice our radius is really big when in, in regards to our A, our values of A. So our answer is completely okay. Let's do more questions. The internal and external ready of a spherical shell are eight centimeters and nine centimeters respectively. Calculate the material, calculate the volume of the material of the shell to the nearest centimeter cubed. It's a time we discussed about the analysis, but in this case, we are going to use the same concept. But now remember, this is a 3D. It's not basically 2D as, as I'm showing. There is, there is, um, there, there, it's, it's like a, a 3D structure. So the, the, Spherical shell, the internal radius is 8 centimeters and then the outer one is 9 centimeters. So the bigger one is 9 and then the internal one is 8. So we want to look for the material that is used 
to make the shell. Basically, we are just looking for uh, this uh, shaded region. That tells you we need to get the volume of the bigger uh, shell, spherical shell over there, um, the volume of the bigger shell minus the volume of the smaller shell. So this is going to be 4 over 3 pi r cubed. In this case, it's bigger r minus 4 over 3 pi r cubed for the smaller one. So this is going to be 4 over 3 times 22 over 7. And the bigger r, you noticed it's 9. So times 9 times 9 times 9. And then minus 4 over 3 times 22 over 7 times the smaller one is 8 times 8 times 8. So let's do this slowly. So this is going to be 4 times 22 times 9 times 9 times 9, which is going to give us 64,152 divided by 7, which gives us 9,164.57. Let's work out the second one, which is 4 times 22 times 8 times 8 times 8, which gives us Oh, I forgot there is also 3. We have to divide this further by 3. So it was uh, 64,000. Let's wrap that. So it was 64,152 uh, divided by 21, not just 7, which gives us 3,054.86. So we do the same. So it's 4 times 22 times 8 times 8 times 8, which gives us 45,056. This is divided by 21, which gives us 2,145.52. Uh, uh, so we need to subtract this so that we can be able to, we can be able to get the, sub, the volume of the material that was used or in the shell. So it's going to be 3,054 minus 2,145.52, which gives us 900 and this is 909.34 and it is centimeters cubed. So that's how we use, uh, we calculate the volume of a sphere. Let's do one last question. The volume of water, uh, uh, in our measuring cylinder is 25. So we have 25.2 centimeters cubed. Remember the volume of our cylinder is going to be by R squared H. Let's not forget that's the base area times height. Uh, we did this before. And then after a solid metal sphere is immersed into it. So when you immerse, we have a cylinder and we immerse a solid sphere uh in the uh, in the measuring cylinder it reads 29.4 centimeters cubed so that tells you if you subtract these two so 29.4 centimeters cubed minus 25.2 centimeters cubed you're able to get the volume of the sphere because the initial volume was 25.2 and then after you get 29.4 so the sub the the difference is going to be 4.2 this is going to be 4.2 centimeters cubed. This forms now the volume of our sphere. You see how you interpret your question is very important. And we know that the volume of our sphere is 4 over 3 pi r, uh, pi r cubed. The question is calculate the radius. So this is going to be 4.2 is equals to 4 over 3 times 22 over 7 times our radius, which is r cubed. So this gives us 4.2 is equals to 88 over 21 r cubed. So it's times 21 over 88, the reciprocal times 21 over 88, which gives us r cubed is equals to 21 times 4.2 is 88.2 divided by 88, which gives us 1. So r cubed is equals to 1.00223. If we do the third root of both uh, sides, it's going to give us the radius is 1. 
because you remember if you multiply 1 times 1 times 1 you're going still to get uh, 1 so 1 centimeters so that brings us to the end you've seen how we have solved that problem you can go back and pause and do it slowly by yourself and you can get more revision questions and notes in the app so that you can be able to understand the concept see you in the next lesson Thank you.